Hi everyone, I'm Christina Blegin. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Milo Massimo. We're a Salesforce CPQ partner. Today we'll look into the creation of contracts and renewal opportunities. Contracts assist us in managing recurring relationships with our customers as they facilitate amendments and uh, renewals. So uh, let's suppose we have to create a contract based on an opportunity that contains subscription products. Then uh, we want to create a renewal opportunity that will represent a potential future sale of a continued subscription. This allows for the pipeline to be accurate with upcoming renewals. Okay then, um, so there is an opportunity where of course we have the opportunity name field populated, hopefully with a meaningful name that would make sense for you and your colleagues. Then there should be the close date and the stage field should be also populated. Um, and very importantly, on the opportunity record, there are two fields that are required in order to generate a contract. So first of all, we need to make sure that there is an account associated so that we know uh, who to create the contract for and where the subscriptions are going to go. And secondly, we need to make sure that we have a primary quote. This way we will know which quote lines will generate subscriptions. Now let's go to the quote. Furthermore, on the quote record, the primary checkbox should be set to true. Then we need to make sure that there is a start date um, because if there is no start date, we don't know whether the subscription products are being priced correctly. Next, uh, we need either an end date or a um, subscription term because either of these will uh, ensure that the correct pricing is being generated. Also, we need to have subscription products on this quote, on the quote lines, right? Um, I've added uh, to the quote both a subscription product and a non-subscription product. Note that in order to successfully contract from the opportunity object, you also need to make sure that at least one quote line on the primary quote has the uh, subscription pricing field set to uh, either fixed price or percent of total. So we have here uh, fixed price. Okay, because um, if there are no uh, quote lines that have the subscription pricing field defined, um, a contract uh, will simply not be created. Okay, uh, now all that is left is to check the uh, contracted uh, checkbox on the uh, opportunity record. So let's do just that. Let me find it. Here it is. And check and save. Now, um, this is what is actually triggering the creation of the contract. Okay, let me refresh the page. Okay, and here we have our contract uh, created. Okay, keep in mind that uh, this field here can be marked either manually, or you could also automate it with the stage, for example. Also, it's important to know that a contract can be generated either from the opportunity or from the uh, order record. Let me show you. Because the contracted chat box is present on uh, both of them. One second. Here we have it, right? Um, I should also mention here that it is um, best practice to contract from the order in case you are using them and not from both uh, locations. Now let's go back to our contract. Okay, and let's open it by clicking the contract number link in the contracts related list. And now let's go to related tab. And here we can see the subscription record that has been created for the subscription product. Now, if we go to the account record, 
Okay, in the related uh, list, we can see here that an asset record has been created for the uh, one-time product that we had on the uh, quote. Remember that uh, the asset record generation is based on what has been um, indicated in the asset conversion field on the product record that is uh, either one per quote line or uh, one per uh, unit. Here we have it. Okay, uh, now let's uh, go uh, back to the contract again and activate it. All right, contract and activate. Again, activate. Okay, um, before generating the renewal opportunities, there are a few decisions to be made. First, how will the renewals be priced? Okay, this can be controlled from the renewal pricing method field on the account record. And the questions here uh, will be the following. Will the price remain the same? or maybe uh, you will use whatever the price is in the price book at the moment, or maybe an uplift will be uh, applied. Now, if you choose the uplift option, you should go and set the actual uplift value in the renewal uplift percent field on the quote record. Thus, the uplift is um, applied as a percent against the previous year's price. And uh, remember that uplifts uh, compound year after year. Then, uh, in case one of the products should be replaced with another one upon uh, renewal, right? Uh, this can be set up on the product record with the help of the renewal product field. Let me show you. Okay, just open product record. And uh, here we have the renewal product field. Okay, and this uh, here we indicate the product that replaces the product on uh, renewal. Now let's go back to the contract record and uh, set uh, the values for a few very important fields. So these are um, the renewal forecast checkbox. So by checking this uh, field, uh, we actually trigger the creation of uh, renewal opportunities. And then uh, let's enter a value for the renewal opportunity stage. So let's say uh, proposal price quote. So this field um, overrides the default opportunity stage uh, value and uh, save. Now these two fields uh, can also be automated based on uh, different conditions. Okay, we click save now. Uh, let's go uh, to the related list tab. And uh, Sure thing, here is our renewal opportunity. By default, the name of the renewal opportunity is renewal opportunity. So you will probably want to automate its name and make it more meaningful. Otherwise, you will end with lots of opportunity records named renewal opportunity. Now, if we click the renewal opportunity here, and uh, we can see in the related list that uh, there is a opportunity product record created for the uh, renewable subscription product from the contract. So uh, these are the necessary steps uh, to generate a contract from the opportunity, activate it, and this is how Salesforce CPQ uses the information from the subscriptions on the contract in order to quickly generate a renewal opportunity. All these uh, simplify your quoting process for the sales team, ensuring at the same time more accurate forecasting. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.